Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to continue to do the drawing that we were talking about earlier in class. And for those of you who are seeing this who uh, aren't in Mrs. Gottlieb's class, uh, I'm doing a drawing of a figure in motion. And I'm using this Miami Dolphins player uh, as my model. And what I said was you start off by representing where you want different parts of the body to be. And I'm using this blue marker to be my underdrawing. And I say that circle represents his head. And then I'm doing a line to represent where his shoulders are going to be. I represent his torso with a triangle. And remember, all of this, you really aren't supposed to see in the final drawing that much. You probably will because I'm using a marker instead of a pencil like I normally would, but I want you to be able to see it very clearly. Now, next, I did a circle to represent the hip. Then I did another circle to represent where the knee is. And all this is is me planning out where certain parts are going to be before I start trying to do all the details. Details are great. They make your picture look really good but they can also make you focus on things and throw off how the whole picture comes out. So it's, this is like the plan of where things are going to go. I know that the bottom part of a leg and the top part of the leg are roughly the same size, so I just need to make sure those are the same. And then I'm going to represent the foot with a triangle, just like that. Next, I need to figure out where the other leg goes. And I can take this length, shift it over so that it's about the same size. And then that's where the other knee is going to go. Start from about there for where the upper thigh is. Then bring the other leg down and off the page because this leg's extended off the page. Now I got to plan where those arms are going to be because I don't want them to be too short or anything like that. I'm looking at things like how close is the elbow to the thigh right there. So elbow, maybe in this general area, I think is where it's going to be. So I know it doesn't start up here because he's wearing shoulder pads. So it's going to start a little lower than normally would. So I'm thinking here. Right about there is the elbow, and then his hand, I'm gonna bring up in this general direction, so I'll connect those. Just a plan. His arm isn't gonna be super skinny like that. <laughs> now, same thing with this arm. I'm gonna start here, go in this direction, keep this and this around the same length. Elbow's gonna be about here. Then the bottom part of the arm goes this way, and then his hand is kind of over here-ish. Notice that it doesn't look like a hand. It's, these are sort of like he's wearing mittens, right? Because I'm just planning out where things are going to go. But now that I know where the head, the arms, the torso, the legs, the feet, uh, the knees are going to be, I can actually start my actual drawing. This one I'm going to represent using a different color. I'm not trying to make it look realistic. I just want to get the general shape of the body on here. So I'm going to start by doing more of what looks like a helmet. And I can start focusing on details now. And there's that hole for the helmet. Now, I can't really see his face in here that much, so I'm not going to draw that much detail for the face. I do see his chin strap, so I'll make a chin strap right about there. And I can see that gait on the face. I'll do that later. I'm going to start on his shoulders. He's wearing his shoulder pads. They come around like this. They come around like that. His midsection is a little thicker than a triangle, but it shows me roughly where it goes. His arm's thicker than this. 
but I know that's the center line. And then the upper arm comes up like that. Notice I'm almost leaving that blue line like it's a bone inside his arm. There we go. I'll start doing some more detail on the hand. Fingers. Elbow pad. It's going to get shaded in. There we go. Next, I'm going to... Draw a line on this side for his upper arm, this side, and he's carrying a football. So I gotta squeeze a football in here. Can't see all of it because some of his arm is in the way. Wrap that around there. That's his arm. He's got a pad on that arm too, so I'll shade that pad in. Like that. Stop. That looks pretty good. All right, now for the leg, I'll just outline the parts I want and ignore the parts I don't want. Bottom part of his leg is going to be a lot thicker than that one line. So I'll just make it like that. And then like that. I know the shoe is going to be roughly around here. So I start drawing details for the shoe right around there. Looking pretty good so far, huh? Other leg. This one's almost all completely done. I just need to ignore the circle for the knee and then use maybe that line for where the pants stop and the sock begins. Like so. There's a line that separates the shirt from the pants. And all of this in here is the football. All of that in there is the football. That's not too bad. So, basically what I have done is shown myself where various parts of him are before I started trying to draw him. And it keeps you from doing mistakes like accidentally making things too big or too small or making things be in the wrong place. It's the planning using basic shapes like circles, triangles, squares uh, that help you out. And I hope this helps you guys whenever you're getting ready to do a drawing of any kind of figure, whether it be a dancer or somebody walking or somebody throwing, planning it out with basic shapes and then doing the drawing over those basic shapes makes it easier. All right.